This video is going to cover wastage and making sure you've got that included, rounding of numbers, manipulating measurements that you've done already, and reusing measurements for multiple lines within your costing screen. So I'm going to go to Bricklayer and have a look at a takeoff I've already done, which is for the, the bricks line here. So basically what happened, I did the, the takeoff, it came to 65 and a half square meters, and that is just the pure measurement that I did. So it's, there's no wastage included in that. It's not been messed with at all. What I'm gonna do now is use this calculator to point out a couple of things. So when I open it, first thing worth a mention is that this calculator screen is currently showing M2. There's a bit of confusion from some people around this. M2, they go, oh, that's square meters. And yep, yeah, most of the time it would be. But when you're looking at the calculator screen, M2 or M1 or M17 refers to the measurement number and it matches up with the measurement list on this side. So basically what it's saying is that this line in the costing screen is referring to measurement number two, which is for bricks. Now, the reason we do it this way is because you can reuse measurements, but you can also get that base measurement of 65 and a half square meters. And you can say that times two, which in this case could be handy if it was double brick. I can also do things like M2, add a wastage factor of 5%. I can say, get that number that's already got wastage on it now and round it up. And basically what it's doing is when I hit equals and note here, you absolutely have to hit equals to make this all calculate. Um, a common mistake people do is they will click over on the left hand side of the screen, which is entirely the same as hitting cancel. So if I hit equals, what it will do is apply the wastage, apply the rounding. And I know it's done it because this W has been added for wastage and it's rounded it to the nearest meter or rounded up to the nearest meter and that hence all these zeros on the end. So the, the takeaway here is the calculator is fantastic for manipulating measurements, either wastage, rounding, or just multiplying and adding uh, measurements. You can even go as far as going measurement two plus measurement one, if you ever want to do something like that. And you can combine multiple measurements that have been done. Now, to our next point, you can reuse measurements. And the reason this is a fantastic thing to know is if you go, hey, I've measured my bricks and I wanna add a line for brick labor, uh, let's say square meters again, the brick layer charges, let's say a dollar a brick, so it's about $52 a square meter. You'll get to this point and you'll go, well, I don't really need to measure this again, I've already done it. You can go calculator depending on where this line has been and what, you know, if it's come from a previous estimate or if it's been used before, there might be numbers in this box or in this calculator screen and you might just need to clear them all out. You've got to get it back to this empty state. And then you can click on the measurement on the right that you want to use, pops it in, makes it look like the other one that we just looked at a moment ago. And you can now go measurement to equals. And what it means is this line and this line are both referencing the same measurement. They show different values because one has wastage and rounding and one doesn't. But the, the takeaway is that you can have as many lines as you want all reading off the same measurement and you can cheat quite a bit. Um, so typically we will see people do things like uh, weatherboards and wrap will be the same or bricks and wrap will be the same and often insulation will be the same, uh, external insulation at least. Uh, you can do floor area and ceiling plaster is the same. So it can be really good to save yourself some time and you can get pretty creative with it. The last point here is when we're referencing measurements, ultimately what we're doing is we're referring back to this plans and takeoff screen. So when I was in the calculator and I was picking measurement number two, I'm picking from the list that's ultimately this list, uh, which shows all the different measurements I've got here. So if I ever wanna come and look at them or um, potentially even change them, I can do it in this screen. This is absolutely live. So it means that if I change a measurement here, the change will be seen 
in the costing screen, which can be really good for revisions and updates. Great, so that's how the calculator works, how to manipulate measurements and uh, how to reuse them.